This guy likes disc brakes. Arrived on training camp. It's our annual team get together, December get together. Basically, this camp is all about planning for next year, meeting all new riders, new staff members. A couple new guys here, eh? Yeah. There's a yeah, lot of new a, guys here, a lot of youngsters. <laughs> the average age of the team is definitely going down this year. Got a few new, younger, new recruits in. Well, I'm rooming with Corbin because uh, they wanted to bring down the average room age. So like uh, our room's at the average age, age of 30 now, so we're good. <laughs> I shouldn't have put you, you and me together again, otherwise... Uh, <laughs> It'd be 40. Average, average age of 40. 40. Good to be back here. Today we had to cut the ride short. Daryl and I have got a few uh, performance meetings. Talk about performance. Bike fit. Bike fits as well. Bike fitting. TT posse. All the fun things. All the fun things. So they, they get it. we take the longest to get ready. So that's probably why they've done us the earliest. <laughs> Probably. All right, guys, tune in. If yep. you like Froomey's channel, like, share, subscribe, you know, like, give it a thumbs up to this video. Nice one, Dazza. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks, boys. It's an early start this morning. A little bit early to be putting uh, cycling, cycling shorts on. This morning, I've got TT bike fit. So, yeah. Get on the TT bike and check that everything, all the measurements are working biomechanically correctly and looking fast. Hey man, respect, respect breakfast time, man. We're like they're eating, man. It's one thing I don't do is this <laughs> come and eat breakfast. Right, Ems, <laughs> what, what have you got this morning? Dude, I have core. Yeah. Core? Build this, build this engine, yeah. Just a bit right. of core, then five hours. It's a bit wet outside now, so I'm glad we're not riding now. Uh, I'm catching up with my Belgian crew because I only catch up with them at training camp. Once I've never a year. ever raced with them, so. <laughs> Sweet. See you later. We're going to be doing a TT bike fit. Got the got the bike set up here. Got the crew. Everyone's ready. All the cameras stationed here. It's going to be interesting. There's some there's some new UCI regulations that might change the measurements slightly for for a few things. So, yeah, good opportunity to check it out and see if we can make the most of it. Got all the sensors on now. Now to do a few run through a few little uh, tests and see how everything's tracking. changes to make where we're looking at potentially lifting the handlebars slightly and lowering the saddle to basically try and flatten out all this obviously that's taking a lot of frontal area there and I'm, I'm very very low with my head that angle is very low so we're looking at basically trying to flatten that whole thing out coming up on the handlebars and down a little bit on the saddle should get me in a better position hopefully So it was a really interesting session. I found that maybe I was trying to push things too aerodynamically and actually ended up being counterproductive. By dropping my head too much, it exposed a big part of my upper back 
which meant that I was actually probably even causing more drag. So we went a little bit higher, lowered the saddle slightly, so opened, opened this angle, this angle here. So that should give me a little bit more power or ability to, 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 to remain in that position for longer. Or well, just pushing there at, at a, a kind of a race pace for a couple of minutes. And it, it definitely feels more, more sustainable, I guess. And it, it actually ends up looking faster as well, just on the, on the profile, because my back is a little bit flatter instead of being pointing down. So here we can see the big differences between that was my old position in the purple and the new position in uh, the, the clearer color. Basically, I've, I've come up slightly with my head so my head's not so far down, which actually flattens out everything there. And then here you can see the, the, change, the change in the angle. It's basically given me, opened up that, that angle there, which means it's a little, little less compact. Uh, through through that through through basically the legs into the hip there so into the torso it gives me a bit of a better angle for for riding. Yeah, so just do left and right over the top. Yeah. How far down? Good. Go? Yeah. Okay, and now do the left one over the top. Okay. One more time on the right over the top. Pretty similar. Okay, good. And now on the inside. So, like you're going to grab something out of your back pocket and reaching up. Yeah. Good. That's good range and left pretty similar there yeah good that's fine good one of the important parts of the team camp is a general medical screening and today we're having a look at heart function and we've just had some really interesting results obviously being able to compare with the data that i had over in israel we've we've just been able to measure the gs score which for me has has increased significantly since post-COVID tests that I had done. So it's basically shown a, a good recovery of what we were concerned about with the heart a little bit earlier, a few months ago, and things heading in the right direction. So yeah, uh, really, really, really good news there. Hey man. Hey. So I'm uh, oh, morning. Uh, can't see your eyes there. Are you all right this morning? <coughs> yeah, no, no, I'm good. No, <coughs> a wine beer. We won the, One the competition night. thanks to me saying that he's got two Olympic medals. Yeah, one of the one we had a we had a we had a quiz last night, and one of the questions was name the two riders on the team who have 
two Olympic medals. And Gary was adamant that I only had one. Even though he was my mechanic at both, both events. I, you know, Frumi's just won so much. It's just so hard to keep track of everything because virtually every race I've done with him is won. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's only obvious that I would lose track of how many Olympic medals. Maybe he's even got four that he doesn't even know about. <laughs> No, uh, so, no, I feel really bad, but I did get the question right about the first victory that you lost before the line. Uh, so I was there, was I witnessed one. that one. That was a good one. Today, we're out for a four to five hour steady endurance ride. Not sh too sure how steady it is. <laughs> These guys on the front. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful scenery. Just have to ride hard so Sip doesn't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there we go. Daryl's birthday, we all sit on him. I love it, I love it. So Imps, I think it's just because it's your birthday. Yes. No one wanted to come past you, mate. Well, I don't think I could come past me, mate. <laughs> um, this is only December for me. <laughs> I can see my January. Oh. So there's a little discussion going on at the back there. Yeah. You go and I'll follow. No, no, you go and I'll follow. <laughs> so, no, 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 it's his birthday. Come on, just just leave him leave him to it. <laughs> the truth of the matter is the Oaks are scared of me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's full of shit, eh? full of shit. Oh brilliant. <laughs> a late night last night. I just yeah, I'm, I just need to lie down. <laughs> Friend, you? How are you? Borrowing, borrowing some happiness from from today. Yeah. Last night. Yeah, no, I used all my happiness last night, and today I'm grumpy. Eh? I'm hoping <laughs> I can go home early as well. Last day of camp. Uh, I'm just testing out my new TT position. Oh. 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 Everyone's testing out their their new TT positions today. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with mine. I, I think uh, made some good moves in the right direction. I definitely feel like I can sustain this position for a lot longer. And apparently it looks faster too, so it's a win. He's just telling you that, he didn't tell me that. He's just taking that to camera. That That's exactly what you told me. Look, I was on that bike and I'm off now. <laughs> oh, he's dropped. Yep, no, Itamar's dropped. <laughs> Oh well, long chase for Ethan Mark. Okay, we have Chris Froome teaming up now. He's the Tiger Wood of Kenya. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, that's a, that's a, it was just a warm up swing. That's it's a, just a warm up just swing. Yeah, this is going to be the life of the cycling one day. You're going to be a professional golfer. He's aiming for that 100 meter line. Okay. <laughs> that, did, that was a good warm up shot. The muscles are getting loose. <laughs> All right, he's ready for this. Keep an eye on the ball now. That's it. And it's gone. That's it. That's connection. Yeah. Look at that! Oh, I, get any oh, I was playing a hustling ass in the beginning. I oh, was going to hit the ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going. Right. No, go, go, go. Man, finish it. Man. Oh, that's the one. And you got that on the ball. It's put me under pressure now. No pressure. Andre, be careful, Gary's swinging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Yeah, another, another year down the line, and another year I'm going to tell myself 
not going to pick up another golf club for the next year. <laughs> Definitely stick to cycling. Just touched down in back in Nice. It's gonna be good to be home now for a little bit over Christmas. And then I'm gonna be heading over, over to Australia to start the season off at the Tour Down Under. And then I may even stay out in Australia a little bit longer to do a bit more training out there in the heat before coming back over. That was a, that was a good training camp. I felt as if it was pretty, pretty productive. We, we worked through a lot, of, a lot of the issues we had this year as a team. And I think despite the whole relegation situation. I think there's a pretty good, pretty good vibe in the team. Everyone's pretty eager to get stuck into next year, and I think a lot of the the, the issues we we had last year have been have been sorted out. So onwards and upwards. Thanks so much for watching. As always, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.